Hey everybody, I'm just gonna make a quick video on how I got my Onan 2.7 horsepower generator started. This is in a 1984 um, Toyota Dolphin motorhome. So this is obviously a really old generator. Um, you can see here it's the 2.7 AJ-1R and I was getting a click and it wasn't starting so I checked all the contacts, checked all the wires here, um, made sure this is a problem, this is actually your choke and this will actually stick up and, it's, and a lot of time it won't start because of that because it's uh, it's it's uh, automated too so but what I did though too just to make sure it wasn't a uh, battery issue or anything I used jumper cables and I put the negative um, I had a battery that's on a charger over there I put the negative just clipped it under right here and, and put the positive on the, the positive terminal back there just clipped it onto the wire uh, change the spark plug uh, made sure uh, fuel was actually coming out of the line a little bit so but otherwise uh, what I did since there is no starter on these it uh, the coil charges up with DC power and then once it starts running, then it takes over and AC power is outputted and then um, the starting uh, sequence stops. So what I did is I took a 5 8 uh, socket and there is a bolt in the middle of this back here. I just had it on so it's hot right there. And you put it on there and um, tighten it, so turn it clockwise. So it's going to spin the fan, it's going to spin the motor, you can make sure you, it spins. And what I did is I spun it while I was hitting the starter. It would get a click and then it would start really slowly because this hasn't been started in probably about 20, 30 years maybe. But um, I had the spark plug out so it turned really easy and all of a sudden it just fo -fo 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 and it started going. So put the spark plug back in and then clicked it over while I was turning it and it it did its own thing so this is all self-sustaining too if you have a problem right away you can kick this on while you do that and give it a little choke just to get it going but then this is a lot of them cold starting you go stop for a bit it primes it and then hold the start As you saw, I, as I kicked it on, I had to hit the choke just a little bit. But um, otherwise, hopefully it helps you out in just getting these things started because these are really reliable. Um, they're made to last and uh, you don't really get to change a lot of stuff on it. You check checkpoints, make sure you got power, make sure you got some fuel going to it. Um, make sure you got some little bit of compression and everything and otherwise these things will, will are meant to last. Alright, I appreciate it you guys.